More and more people across central New York continue to get vaccinated, but the rate is slowing down. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan joining us live at the On Center. That's where the county executive just wrapped up his briefing to bring everybody up to date on this. And so, so Andrew, you bring us up to date. What's the county doing to get more shots into arms, as many as possible? Well, Christy, for so long it was a struggle for people to find a vaccine. Now it's the reverse problem. The county is struggling to find people willing to get the vaccine. There's a very informative graphic on localsyr.com right now that lists the different age ranges and the percentage of people in those ranges who've gotten the vaccine. The winning group right now, ages 70 to 79, that's 85 percent of people having received the first dose, but the numbers go lower from there. About half of people between the ages of 40 and 69 getting their first dose. And so the county executive knows he's going to have to move the clinic beyond the on center. In May, he plans on sending health department nurses to different neighborhoods, working with different community groups, and literally going door to door, knocking and asking for people who need the vaccine. Here's what the county executive said. For the month of May, we're going to be in neighborhoods and uh, we're going to be uh, looking to work with businesses. Uh, you're going to, you know, our, our traditional ways of doing this are going to have to uh, adapt and evolve. And it's, we'll get to a point if we vaccinate 20 people in a day at some point, we had a good day. The county executive says by the end of next week, the county health department will have gotten to every single high school in Onondaga County to offer vaccines to the students there. He says about 60% of the entire county will have been vaccinated at that point. But I asked him what his goal is. His goal is 70%. That's the number he's aiming for. Who knows? He may have to go higher than that if the doctors think herd immunity takes higher than 60% and higher than 70%. Live in downtown Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.